Hello, I am Mike of New Life Dice, this is the Kibble Space Program. Now, there's really only two of these uh, scenarios I haven't done yet, which is the Asteroid Redirect one. I didn't enjoy the tutorial Asteroid Redirect missions. I don't know if these are any different from the tutorial. Uh, so, I may hate these. Um, admittedly, I also have... A, is this the exact same thing? It's a very similar thing. Okay, what 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 have we got? So we've already oh that's right. So this does look to be much the same. Ah, but I I have precise node this time. So I'm gonna try. Just adding some. Well, right, that's so. So once I get to a certain point, if I just add, um, prograde, then I, I I just lose the encounter entirely. So I get I get nothing. So one of the suggestions I think was moving it around. Um, in terms of when I set off. Of course I have a bit of a problem in that as I get closer it looks like I may have to set off Oh, that was interesting. Let's dull a bit back on there. Ooh! This is much easier with precise note, I have to say. Uh, insect 30 kilometers. I like that, actually. Now, I might be able to play around with things like radial, anti-radial. Right, I'm literally getting within three kilometers if I do this burn. Lord alone knows when I need to do it. Oh, I've got um, 54 seconds before I do it. So I actually have enough time to do this burn. This is so much easier with precise node, which I didn't have before. Uh, it's going to be a 40 second burn. Oh, well, let's point towards, towards the maneuver just as a thought. Remember, it's a great big unwieldy thing. Where's the sun? There's the sun. Right, so I'm close ish. Uh, seven, uh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, so that's going to be a 40 second burn. Instead of RCS. Because I rather suspect I'm going to need RCS when I get there. And accuracy is going to be a thing because adding l tiny, tiny percent, tiny, tiny amounts of Delta V uh, were giving me quite a lot of difference in terms of approaching the thing. It's going to slow down a little bit. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... I'm still pointing in much the same way. So that... But just by adding little tiny bursts... Oh, well, let's go with that. 1.9 kilometers. I am super mega happy with that. Oh yes. So let's walk to there. So there's our target coming in. Oh, 
Oh, I'm quite pleased. Oh, wow. I can't remember what went wrong last time. I suspect I seem to call what went wrong as I hit um, one of the the um, one of the other control handles, and I wasn't able to get it back. Which obviously I would have, you know, preferred to do. And I also suspect I wasn't able to. To move the maneuver the way I wanted to. So, getting very close now. So I'm going to switch to target. I'm just going to go retrograde. I'm just going to put myself retrograde. And you can see that the, the target indicator and the retrograde indicator are quite close to each other. So I am at the moment currently going pretty much straight towards it, oh, which is fine. In fact, that's my, that's the away target. No, that's fine. That, that's exactly what I want. So we'll just time warp a little bit. Um, it's just when those start to separate is when I get start to get interested. Also, when that gets quite low. Right, let's let's just uh, information. It's going to take me two minutes to go to zero. Uh, so I might want to start uh, slowing down real soon now. Now, what I would like to do is if I could, if I could find the thing in the sky. Uh, I'm pointing away from it. I think it should be somewhere nearby, actually. Um, bring up the rendezvous thing. That's not actually really helping me now, I think about it. Um, I'm beginning to think I'll need to... Where is that going to be in the sky? Oh, there it is. There it is. <sighs> no. Right. Um, go back to. I want to go check that, that, that information thing. Does that change? That that max acceleration? Ah, no, that doesn't. That that's that's not taking into account. Oh, yes, it is, actually. I've just caused myself some confusion, which is probably not a good thing. Uh, so that's 2 minutes and 26 seconds. That is indeed based off... Um, my current speed relative to my target, which is the information I need to know right now. So it's going to take me 2 minutes. So I'm going to want to have. I'm going to want to go like pretty soon. In fact, I probably want to go now. Oh, now. oh there we go. Do I want to start going now, or do I want to go start going when I'm about halfway? Which is probably going to be about fairly soon now, anyway. Right. I'm going now. Is what I'm doing. I reckon it's going to take. No, I don't know now. Right, so it's now going to take me 47 seconds to slow down completely. So it's 1 minute 42. So I reckon when it's half. That is when I would want to start to go. So it's really about 25 seconds, so I'm nearly 50 seconds. I 
Marks have a fair amount of fuel, so that's not really the problem. I think this is going to work out quite nicely, in fact. Alright, so that's about as good as I'm going to get, I think, in terms of matching speeds. Uh, I could probably use RCS to match speeds even better. I don't currently want to match speeds right now. I want to get closer. So, so matching speeds at this point is just... <sighs> That's not a helpful device at this point. Matching speeds is, is not terribly useful right this second. But I'm 1.7 kilometers away. fairly slow our craft has got that is taking a while to, to turn around so let's see if I there we go that's a better shot Fair amount of monoprop? No, I don't think it's really helping me. So it seems to want me to get rid of at some point this back end. But I don't think I'm going to do that. Just now at least. Now I'm going to use time warp to go towards it rather than trying to get more speed. Um, because otherwise I'm, I'm very likely just completely uh, go past if I do. I don't think I'm in any danger of crashing into it. Yeah, I'm going I'm going quite to one side. Oh, this is painless. Oh, this is much better than the last time. Last time was really annoying. I wonder if that right, yeah, they don't they haven't put anything clever on here. There's a couple of things I'd want to put on. Uh, like uh, resource grabbing resources from the asteroid would be kind of cool. Uh, okay, so the asteroid's not really it's beginning, those those two are getting very separate, but when they're about ninety degrees, a little, little less is when I really want to start to go. Because that's when they are as far as close as they're going to get at the current velocity at the current speed. Uh, well, not even speed, it is velocity, it's the directions where we go. It's a very dark space rock. Okay, so we're pretty much exactly... Thirty-one meters. Okay, so we're going to point to to, to target, and we're now going to operate that. So control from there. I think we. Are, I think we're already effectively were controlling from there. I'm going to 
act right off yet. I think I'm going to retract the panels just on the off chance. That we I mean, uh, we're st I think we're still reasonably likely to break it, if I'm honest. Now, that's a dark space. That, that space rock is basically completely dark. So now I can use. I, and what I'm actually doing is I'm actually being able to. I'm actually using the RCS translation keys to place the prograde marker directly over the target marker. So I'm now heading towards it at 0 0.2 meters per second. And unfortunately, the sun is in a. Not, oh no, it's not too bad. So now we can. Let's just. 0.2 meters per second should be all right, and I'm I'm pretty much heading, uh, pretty much exactly towards the centre of it, because uh, I'm I'm going straight towards the centre, because um, I am targeting the centre mass. I don't I don't think I've got any option there. Yeah, so I'm now I'm now targeting the centre mass. I'm still going in the same place. So there we are. We now have. We now have capture. Can we view? Can we view the inside? Okay. For some reason, we can't look. We can't uh, view inside from the EVA. It looks like which is from from uh, from inside the cupola, which is a pity because I reckon it would look cool. Because if, if we open it up, which we can do here. interior overlay, right? You'd be able to look out. You'd be looking out through that cupola, and it would, that would look just awesome, I think. But unfortunately, we don't get to, to view from the inside, it looks like. Which is kind of sad. Um, can he EVA? Oh, he can't EVA either, because... Um, oh, it's either not in the scenario. Or that cupola just doesn't have a way out, which I think is, is right, actually. Uh, maybe not, there's a hatch. Right, so unfortunately, I was gonna, I thought it might be amusing to, to get out and um, do a surface sample, but we can't, so there you go. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to add a maneuver, and we're going to see if we can't uh, bring ourselves into a an orbit. But I, but I think that is going to be for next time. I think that is going to be for next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, do hit like and subscribe. If you're enjoying these videos, come visit Neil Love Dice at neilovedice.com. We're also on Facebook and on Pond Twitter, and you will find links to that all over the place, uh, specifically in the video description, and you just search for Neil Love Dice on Facebook and Twitter. And until next time. Reach for the stars and take precise dead along with you because it makes life so much easier.